All right, we're here joined by Mount Union following semifinal number two here from the 2024 MCBL tournament. From left to right, it's Will Heaney, head coach Matt Mihalik, and on the right, it's Jack McClure. Uh, coach, just an opening statement about the match um, and, and how your team played. Yeah, um, you know, I was proud of the way they played. Um, we were trying to serve a little more aggressive this time we played them. Uh, took a little more uh, steam out of their offense, and, uh, you know, we knew they were going to get theirs, but, you know, we know we had to, uh, you know, come back and fight back with them. Um, so we had a game plan, and we went with it, and um, it was uh, it was working for us for a little while, um, two and three there. So Anything, like, specifically from the game plan that was working, really, in two, and then for a majority of three? Yeah, I think serve pressure was really huge for us. Uh, we really had to make sure that uh, we were being aggressive, uh, as well as making sure they keep them you know, on their heels in serve receive and they keep them out of their offense as much as we possibly could. We knew they were gonna get some good passes. We knew that we had to you know, serve a little more aggressive and, and make sure that uh, you know, we were uh, moving on defense and reading and, and making sure that we had you know, players in the right spots to make plays. Yeah, Jack, can you just talk a little bit about kind of the back and forth nature of set three? And obviously you guys had a pretty big lead. I think we're up 18-14 at one point, but it was really just anyone's game and, that, and it sort of felt like that changed the tide in the game a little bit. Yeah, I remember I was sitting in the third set and I was like, man, this is big. Like, we need this. Like, this is going to be a big momentum switch. Um, but yeah, I mean, I felt like in that third set especially, we, we really dialed in our passing, really dialed in our, our serves. And, and they were starting to do the same thing towards the end. It just started going back and forth. And I mean, honestly, that's why I love volleyball. It's so fun. But it didn't go our way this time. Yeah, I feel like a lot of times maybe people will ask uh, – uh, setter about a hitter, but I want to ask you, Jack, about your setter, Will, here, because um, you, you can't get first team all conference without a good setter, right? Yeah. So oh, yeah. Uh, just talk a little bit about Will and how he's able to kind of captain the offense. I thought he had a pretty good night tonight and uh, and just kind of does his thing on a consistent basis. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's a great setter. I actually uh, played with him in clubs, so I oh. kind of knew him a little bit before I came, came to school here. Uh, but yeah, I mean, he's just, he's great. He's open to communication. He's very open to try new things. And he wants to make sure that I get the ball where I like it. And he does it on a consistent basis. And I love it. So. And for you, Will, when the offense was working well tonight, kind of what did you see there as far as spreading the ball around a little bit and, and being effective uh, on the offensive end? I mean, I think, I think what we focused on was just swing. Just swing as hard as we can, you know, kind of go out there and just, like, let us go. And I think we, early in the season, kind of struggled doing that. And so I think... That was kind of how we got up in, in two and three. There was just let, us, let ourselves go and just swing, open it up. Yeah, we were very we were very timid, like especially in that first set. And we were just like we just gotta go out and swing. Mm -hmm. Like like if, if you get blocked, it's okay. Just keep swinging, and that's what we did, and it, it worked pretty well. So. Yeah, coach. I mean, we've pretty much seen Mount Union here at the MCBL tournament almost as a perennial team at this point. I don't know how many years in a row it's been, but it's been a lot. <laughs> so just talk a little bit about the program that. You've helped to build at Mountain Union um, and sort of, uh, you know, kind of what, what you guys have going and, and how exciting it is for the future. Yeah, it's goal setting. You know, really what it is at the beginning of the year, it's goal setting. Um, you know, make the tournament, number one. Number two, do damage. Whatever you can do in there, do damage from there. Um, you know, it's it's all about goal setting and reaching your goals. And these guys reached a couple goals here this year. So, um, you know, it was, I know we had a three-way tie last year for first place. And then we had a three-way tie for second place this year. So um, it's been fun and it's great competition. Um, to be able to have that and then obviously, you know, win some, lose some type of thing and you XO as best you can and, and you try to uh, have let the chips fall the way they may and uh, it's really on the guys at that point. We really have a, you know, a great group of guys that b believe in themselves and push themselves to, you know, be the best that they can on the court and uh, they have fun if you couldn't notice. Uh, we have a lot of fun <laughs> and they have, uh, they, they don't care what anybody thinks of them. They, they just go out and play ball and uh, they're not intimidated by anybody. Uh, all year it's been like that. So. Um, yeah, being in the MCBL tournament uh, each year has been a great blessing for us. This is year four for us. So um, out of five years being in the league, first year was COVID. So um, it's been great for us to, you know, kind of have that uh, as a goal and to kind of achieve that every year. And uh, we've, we've really uh, cherished having that. So um, it's been a, a great time to, you know, be here in the tournament. Uh, this is a shameless plug, Will, but just expand on that a little bit. I know that you've been around, I think, at Mountain Union for three seasons. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. And just talk about the progression, maybe, of what you've seen from your competition in the MCBL. Yeah, I mean, it's drastically improved. Um, I think the first year we played, it was what, us, Fompon, and Fompon was kind of, had, had been around. They were like the guys, and we always had talked to my, you know, former teammates saying that they were, you know, the ones to beat. And now I think the tide's kind of changing, um, and you've seen B-Dub kind of come out of, I guess, nothing and nowhere. They've 
pretty recent program, and same with WIT in a sense. Um, I think it, I'm not sure when it joined the MCDL, but it was pretty recent, I think. Yeah. Um, and so I think there's kind of a changing of the tide where there's these teams that hadn't been there before, and now I think we've all established ourselves, so that's nice to see. Coach, you're surrounded by two guys from Ohio. You just talked about three teams from Ohio that could arguably call three of the most formidable teams in this league. Just talk about Ohio volleyball and, and yeah. where it's come from and where it's at now. Yeah, for sure. So uh, these guys came from when high school volleyball wasn't sanctioned. And so now that it's sanctioned, it's blown up even more in the state of Ohio. So more coaching, more playing, um, you know, it only makes the competition a lot stronger. Um, it's been a great, great thing to see the growth of Ohio um, coming around and it's only going to get better. So that was all without sanctioning and without, you know, the, the, the coaches in the state doing it all their, on their own at the high school level. So, um, you know, the growth of boys volleyball, the, the intelligence, the IQ level of boys volleyball in Ohio has grown tremendously. So um, couldn't be more proud of how the, the state has grown as a, as a boys volleyball area. And for the two guys, uh, last thing for me is just, honestly, it's very unpredictable. I saw your class years. I don't know if you guys are coming back at this point because it's hard to figure out. But whether you're coming back or not, just talk about the standard that's been set for Mount Union Volleyball and what can what this program can be going forward, whether you're a part of it next year or not. I, I think it's really high. I think we've, we've established that in the past three years. Um, I'm returning, so I'll be back next year. Cool. Um, and it's nice to see just like how far we've come um, from my freshman year and how the, like, the culture has changed and how we've kind of established ourselves as we're making the tournament, you know, and that's just, is, it is what it is, you know. So we kind of put that in the forefront. Yeah, and I, I also am coming back um, because I transferred in, credits are weird, stuff like that. Um, and actually, because I transferred in, I got to I kind of jumped in right in the middle after like we established a winning, like it was the year after we won the championship and stuff like that. And I mean, I can just tell you like right away, like I can just tell that it was a championship at atmosphere. Like everyone over there was like, we expect to win, we want to win, let's go out and get it, you know? So I really, really like that. So. Could you guys talk a little bit about how Every man matters. I mean, this year you guys only had nine guys, but Aaron Armour goes from libero all the time to now an outside hitter. Um, Michael and Cam in the middle, like they're just always battling. They have knee issues and everything. Kind of just talk about the team atmosphere, even just about how everybody just kind of played their part this year. Yeah, I think it was obviously very different than it has been in the past with nine people. Uh, we had our one setter play middle for a couple games, so that was interesting. <laughs> Um, we got a couple wins, and so I think just all of us, you know, we we play together in the off season, and we work on everything: setting, hitting, passing. Everybody kind of just does a little bit of everything, and so um, I think that and our culture just really helps everybody kind of fit into those positions. And it's not so much of a, like a uncomfortable when you're in a different position; it's more of just like a work at it, you know, during the season. So, yeah, we definitely. Uh... I don't know. It was just it was it was funny because going into the season, we were all like, "Oh, we got nine guys. It's gonna be like rough. It's gonna be tough on our bodies." But we kind of just used it as fuel. Um, we came up with a motto. Everyone started to say, "We all we got," because we all we literally were all we had. Like it was everything. That was it. So uh, yeah, I mean, we really just came together, and it was it was awesome to see. Honestly, yeah. yeah. Different different faces in different places is what I said, and you know. Converted Cam into a middle this year. He he grew every year, or sorry, every game. Um, Aaron just did work on the outside. Just um, took that role and just ran with it. Um, he knew what you know was in front of him basically. So uh, while it was tough adjustments, we we roll with it, and it's just what we do. We just versatile, or not versatile, but just play it against adversity. You know, we always took that as you know we're we're the underdog type of thing, and kind of come into every game trying to you know just work as hard as we could to get a win. Uh, last thing from me. Um, only one senior's graduating. We did senior day. Jack, you weren't there. Yeah. Um, kind of just talk about John a little bit, being the only senior on this team, kind of a little bit of leadership he had. And coming in and serving, he wasn't – he played DS a little bit, but he knew his role and he, he served well. Yeah, I, I can go. I can go. Um, yeah, no, we, we love John. Everyone loves John. He's such a positive uh, influence on our team. And, I mean, yeah, yes, he was just a serve spec, but if you ask him – that's fine by him, and he loves it. Every single day in practice, he's like, can I go surf? I'll go surf. Let's go surf. You know, he just loved it so much because he just loved being able to put a little float on the ball. And when he saw it, it was awesome because uh, in practice, like whenever somebody else would do a float serve and it moved and dropped, he'd be like, oh, my goodness, that was crazy. And it, was, it was just so fun to have him, and uh, we're really going to miss him for sure. So, uh, super positive. 
person he always is. And I mean, like Jack was saying, he literally would serve at practice until he could not anymore. <laughs> it's <laughs> insane. And um, he was just so nice to have around and we're definitely gonna miss him. Um, he's great to practice against. He put us in really tough situations in practice, especially with nine guys. So we're definitely gonna miss him. That's amazing to see what a positive force can do for a whole entire team. He is supportive. He is just always there to pick you up and always a positive word coming out of his mouth. It's amazing with how much that spreads around a team. You can be so much more than what you are. Yeah, for sure. Any other questions for Mount Union? Thank you to you three, and I wish you guys nothing but the best of luck going forward. Exciting times as always for the Purple Raiders, being back in the MCBL tournament, and it sounds like Coach has got a good squad coming back for next season. So uh, thank you to you three, and we wish you nothing but the best of luck. Thank you. Thank you.